congratulations to Manchester City and the man of the moment is Sergio Aguero opening there a bottle of champagne his fifth Premier League title his last game at the Etihad 10 years a Manchester City player he joined in the summer of 2011 from Atletico Madrid and he is the all-time top scorer for Manchester City 260 goals, 184 in the Premier League, 12 major trophies, maybe 13 on Saturday for the Champions League and a statue to be built outside the Etihad. Tim Howard, when we look at these scenes of Manchester City winning their fifth Premier League title in 10 years, we are in an era of Manchester City dominance and it shows absolutely no signs of abating. It really does. And beginning of the season, they had such inconsistency. We could have never imagined it would be this classy of a champion. But credit Pep Guardiola once again for revitalizing the squad. You know, you've heard talks of crisis meetings around Christmas and signs is contract extension and from there they just went strength to strength playing with that false nine and really finding a good rhythm at the beginning of the season there was plenty of speculation over whether that man pep guardiola would be signing another deal he did do that and slowly but surely city got better and robbie busto if you could pick out one factor about this title-winning team that stands out above all the others, what would it be? Uh, it may be a, a boring answer, but it's the manager. To expertly manage this squad over multiple competitions in a pandemic season uh, and have every single player, pretty much, maybe a couple, playing at their near highest level, involved every week or every other week because these competitions, he's done it expertly. And we know it's a big squad, we know they've got a big budget, but still, they always look fresh. They always change a team. Pretty much every game, there's a couple of changes to give players, you know, rest at the right times. And the quality that they've got, we're seeing individual shots now, Rebecca, of, of Stones and Kevin De Bruyne. He got them absolutely perfectly set up tactically enough times to win this title quite easily. And there is the manager lifting it aloft, Pep Guardiola. Eight trophies under him. Will it be nine on Saturday? Will it, Robbie Earl, be nine on Saturday, the Champions League final? I think it will be back in, and, and in answering to your question in terms of what this season has been. It's not just that they won it, it's how they won it, the distance they won it. And it's a style of football that's different, more clinical, more technical, cleaner than any football we've seen. It's not affected by fans. It's not affected if your best player is not there, Kevin De Bruyne or Aguero. They still continue to get the job done. And the way how this group continue to be hungry for trophies tells you that, yeah, they've got to be favourites.